Remember a time before you were born. Oh wait, you can't. This is because before you, your parents were the factors that brought you into the world. They had the same thing happen with their parents, all with the same common denominator of being caused. Now we understand this to be a consistent pattern throughout reality, even knowing that the universe had to have started somewhere. But this would have had to have started by something that would not have been dependent on this factor. The argument for efficient causality is... Point 1. Cause and effect exists. This pattern is consistent throughout the universe, even the universe itself. Point 2. Something caused the universe into existence, which would have caused and is causing this existence. Point 3. This quotations something would not be reliant on being caused as it's the one that needed to start causation, to the degree that going beyond that causal agent is redundant, as we are determined by that initial uncaused cause. Final point. If A causes B, and B causes C, does C cause A? There would therefore be no cause to start its cause which is in no case evident in the situation of our existence. Colossians 1 verses 14 to 17 In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist.